romance author story time to read Calling on Quinn. And we're going to start. Alicia. I'm ready to sweat some stress away, Kathy drolls beside me in her southern accent. She's one of the other ladies here at the yoga studio that I've become friends with. She's a Texas transplant. We clicked instantly. I love her larger-than-life personality. Tell me about it, I mumble. I've been needing to de-stress more lately. With so much on my mind, I need to give myself a break. Time to just be. No thinking. Oh, honey, I'd kill to have a body like yours, she says. Well, at least one of us feels that way, I murmur. One of my biggest battles has been accepting me for me. I don't think I'm unattractive, but I've taken some hard hits to my armor in the past. I promise if I hear the words, pretty for a dark-skinned woman, one more time, I'm gonna lose it. I also struggle with my body image. I've never been real thin, and I'm not Instagram thick either. I fall down the middle, I guess. My breasts aren't small, but I wouldn't call them huge. My ass is what I call just for me. I can appreciate that. That's what counts. However, my ex had a way of making me feel like I was beautiful one minute while taking shots at me the next. I started to, I started to question myself and then I started gaining weight, which only fueled his behavior more. I'm finally getting back to a point where I'm in love with every part of me. Any part I don't like, I'm working to get in line with my own vision for who I feel Alicia is. For the first time in a long time, I've learned to say screw everyone else's opinion. To me, my thighs and tummy need work. So I come to hot yoga three times a week to get the results I want. You're all our, we're all our toughest critics. You've come a long way. I remember those chubby cheeks you had a year ago. You were adorable then and you're just as beautiful now, she says with a smile. Thanks, Kathy. Her words are warming. For me, this is the part of the process. This is a part of the process I need to get myself together. I'm doing what feels right to me. The way I'm handling Quinn is the same. I'm starting to feel like I'm doing the right thing. I'm taking my time. Sweet baby Jesus, holy cow, who is that? Kathy gasped. I'm smiling from ear to ear when I turn to see who the newcomer is that has her drooling. My smile falls when I find Quinn and a tall woman at his side. She's all legs with perky breasts and a big smile. Her brown skin is flawless. I shouldn't feel the jealousy that rises from the pit of my stomach, but it's there. She's, she leans into Quinn to say something, causing him to give a little grin. I've never wanted to hurt someone so much in my life. I didn't even fight my so-called best friend at the, the drama she caused, but I'm ready to fly across this room and beat the snot out this woman for talking to my man. What the hell? My man. I've lost it. I've never wanted to be a bead of sweat so bad in my life, Kathy says beside me. I know what she means. I follow a single bead of sweat down the bridge of his nose. It hangs from the tip, clinging to his face, as if his sweat can't stand to let go of him. I think the temperature in the room rises even more when he turns his head in my direction. His gaze locks on mine intently. He stares, his stare feels like fingers beckoning me to him. When I don't budge, he starts across the room toward me. He's coming this way. Do you know it? He looks like he wants to eat you alive, Kathy whispers. I, I know him, I stammer out. Oh, honey, I officially bow down to you. I thought the bistra that drools over you was a hottie. This one is a god, she says and whistles. 
I don't have time to process what she's talking about. Quinn closes the distance, hovering over me while maintaining his eye contact. I tilt my head back. Hello, love. It's good to see you, he says smoothly. You sure do move on quickly, I say saltily. He jerks his head back, those green eyes widen. I throw daggers at him with my eyes. His little friend walks up, pulling my icy glare in her direction. His hand lands right above my backside, turning us both to face the smiling Amazon. She's pretty up close. Her hair is pulled up into a neat, natural, curly ponytail. I have a mind to punch her and step on Quinn's foot. Bridget, this is Alicia. Alicia, this is Bridget. Bridget works for the firm. She's one of our female security specialists, Quinn says. Nice to meet you. Girl, he, you have the boss tied up in knots over you, she laughs. Shut your gob, Quinn growls. That accent, phew, Kathy says. Ha, I'm Alicia's friend Kathy. You can call me Kathy. Nice to meet you, Bridget replies, taking the hand that Kathy author, offers to Quinn. You know, we should find a few spots. I think the boss wants to talk to your friend. You're jealous. Quinn says next to my ear, making me jump. No, I stay twisting my lips. I, you are, I, he says with humor in his voice. Have you been missing me? What are you doing here? I've been feeling a little stiff lately, he says, lifting his arms over his head to stretch. His t-shirt lifts, revealing his taut stomach, a tat, and a drool-worthy V. Red hair trails from what seems to be the bottom of his tat down into his gym shorts, thin shorts that ha have my eyes widening. I thought I'd come to stretch, work out the kinks. What? With a shake of, it, of my head, I tear my eyes from his lower body. His words reach my ears, but I'm not so too sure I understand a single one. Quinn's body is the type a woman dreams about I, or stares at in photos. I'd lick my phone if I had pics of him on it. Eat your heart out, Giovanni. Quinn closes the space between us. I'm too dizzy to take a step back. Lifting his big hand, he brushes my cheek. I, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. How have you been, love? Quinn, it's a simple question. Tell me how you been. I, a lot can happen in two weeks. I'm fine, I relent. How have you been? You may not want to admit that you miss me, but I've been missing you. His eyes search mine. I'd like to take you like to take you to dinner again when you're ready. Okay, the word slips out. His finger brushing back and forth on my cheek has me under his spell. My belly is filled with dancing butterflies. Those green eyes are only aiding his trance. Okay, you're ready or okay when you're ready. Welcome everyone. We're going to get started. The yoga instructor calls out. And I think I'm going to stop there. That's my time. I want to thank you for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can find Calling on Quinn on all retailers. And the audio is available from Dreamscapes. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Go ahead and get your copy of Calling on Quinn. It only gets hotter from there. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Again, I'm Blue Sapphire. And until next time, mwah.